the impeachment of Kashagwa should teach us something about loyalty, friendships, and red flags. Many of us were told, Guru told us, so many other people told us, that this is not the right way to go. It's not. We listened, but because of our tribal sense, we didn't follow through. We picked this one, who was very smart enough to even put somebody that we will vote for so that he can get the seat. We even go ahead to support the same because for some reason you're being paid to support them. You're being threatened to support them. You fail to realize also you who's being paid, who's being given all this money, your time is coming also. Look at what he has done so far with anybody who tries to go against him. Anyone. Even you who's in government. Any one of you. Destruction. Full and total takeover of every single thing. Every single thing. Look at the stories you are used to be given. The, the, the warnings. Call them the warnings. I remember a time when Uhuru told us, you do not know what you are about to give power. You do not know whom you are about to give this seat. You do not know what we see. And that is why we kick him out of meetings. That is why we do this and this against him. You do not know. This country right now, beneath our feet, is being sold. Africa has been sold. We know that part. But Kenya is being sold fully. Every part of it, the best part of it. Monsanto is taking over the seeds. They're taking over all the indigenous seeds. When it comes to banking, it's changing completely. Completely. It's being tokenized. Everything is being tokenized. Tokenization now means now you'll be using money digitally. You see the way we use M-Pesa. So now it's going to be digitized so that they can have access to everything you own. So when they need to do something to you, they just switch off your funds, switch off your accounts, switch off the food that you eat, and you can't go anywhere because even the airport now is gone. The ports are gone. So you can't leave. So you're under the masses of On friendship, you need to realize also, people are going to use you. People will always use you to get to the top. Then when they get to the top, if you had, if you for some reason knew earlier and you had seen these red flags with this friendship, I'm talking about friendship that is this serious because this was a friendship. It was an agreement between two people, two parties, and now it's broken, but they knew earlier. They knew about it earlier. When you're getting into a partnership for friendships, start preparing immediately. That is what this one has taught me. On the other hand, now it's time you all wake up. We all wake up and realize. When you go to the hospital, and I'll say this again, and you're looking, the doctor needs to give you blood. Nobody asks for blood from the mountain. Nobody asks for blood from a white person. No one says I want blood from a Kalenji. No one says I want blood from a Luo. You just need blood. You just have to be compatible with you. That's it. But when it comes to this life, for some reason, you have different tribes. You have different ethnicities. Worse, you have different races. It's a game that is being played. 
and we are the characters we the citizens are the characters and this game is going to continue being played the more we all continue sitting accepting and doing absolutely nothing because ah what can we do joel we support we support our heroes in movies you all support heroes in movies superman batman spiderman hmm? but when it comes to real life you're with the regime why because you are taught to follow that one who is from my community because you are told you are lied to that when they he comes or does something something small you clap for him and you forget all the other things he shows you publicly we filled a stadium the other day for october 20th it was filled with what and with whom You, you you ask yourself that question you see it it is even shown to you people take videos recording videos of but you don't don't do any, you don't say anything you just we just okay this is not about morema adomirema adoge koyo it's not about that this is about a country that if we do not take care of it now that we are here us and our children and our children's children and generations to come are going to suffer consequences that are being made right now